family how are you doing thank you for your love thank you for your support so my realistic people i don't come again <laughs> you guys know that when this election is playing we ourselves we are just dancing on i know the first video when i make i come at court tell and i say after this election <laughs> your favorite governor your favorite president go come at court tell and i say it is time for us to work together my dear is <laughs> not playing ping pong on every side her market right now before i start i want to let on know say a lot of nigerians they don't they deny their citizenship they say they no longer won't be part of nigeria again as me and you they so they carry their international passport that they sakara for granted they say they don't want to be parts they don't want to get anything to do with nigeria they don't want to hear again say nigeria don't disappoint their character don't disappoint them before we go go more further i want to say you listen to these people then you go learn lesson from waiting they happen right now because a lot of people <laughs> they still get deaf in here <laughs> they're not still they here tomorrow they go see call they go jump at the bar come fight a lot of people turn rip they don't go they don't go but before we go move into this news properly may we listen to our brothers when did they cry say oh nigeria my favorite country why you do me like this listen to them and i'll be right back good good evening fellow nigerians having critically observed the way and manner the Nigerian election has been conducted so far. I have come to the conclusion that Nigeria can never be redeemed. As a result, I have decided not to be associated with anything called Nigeria. In order to buttress my assertion, I hereby destroy my Nigerian passport. Yeah, seriously. Of what use is this passport? What use? It's useless. I'm not proud of it. It's useless. Nigerian passport. And it doesn't even matter whether I am Igbo, Yoruba, or Aousa. The bottom line is I am Nigerian. And that comes first. Nigeria has failed us. We have hoped for a better country. My wife is Yoruba. And I never intended for Peter Obi to be the leader of Nigeria because he is Igbo. But I wanted him to be the president because of what he has to offer, what he brings to the table for Nigerians. And for that reason, because of what has transpired in this last election, from today I refuse to be associated with anything regarding Nigeria. I want get it. I don't have blood. I want get it. I don't want to I want get it. One day, you walk up and you say, No, darling. I'm going to say, Every day, forever. But I'm not unprepared. I told you, no, 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 get a roof where they prepared. I'm going to say, I guess you buy a 1996. I'm not going to buy my equipment. I'm not going to buy my equipment. I'm not going to buy my equipment. Then, message your side, you know, I'm going to buy a roof. My own property, one of when I vex can get when I'm a bad man, but don't on that look and keep. Or to be a yard of a point, if I can't swear, no, but I don't know. I'm not a guy, you're a civilized leader. I don't know. 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 I don't
On a si a wela, ya? On a si the way the thing they play. Now, <laughs> me make a si shook su mo mat for these people when they say, Lagos na no mass land. Eba. I can't think say some Yoruba people at this say they go school. Honestly speaking, if you they see where some Yoruba people they speak for, yeah, you go to see that they educated though, but now open eye color. Not be all of them, but now the ones where they say that they misunderstand every statement when they see. When did they make the statement say, Lagos, now no mass land. A lot of them not understand that statement too. May you come worry, may we they give on the logo. How you go they make sentence with slants and how you go take fit in for this last level. Slants not be for everybody. Come on. On a no say when they say Lagos, now no mass land. On a they use the word, but on a no know what it mean. Make a tell on a sumo. When they say Lagos na no mass land, it means you know go fit their person say carry your kaya, may you they go. Say for that the same Lagos, everybody get right to anything when they won't do. But a lot of people don't understand the scenario. A lot of people don't understand that language. Then they say Lagos na no mass land. Come pack your load, may you they go. They say Lagos not be anabra. Say make lay say, say make Igbo people not the shook mat for election where consign Lagos states. Ah ah. The three top candidates when they get for this uh, Lagos uh, um, governorship election when they do, he get anyone when he be Boma for inside. I don't know. If anyone be Boma, bed, drop out for the comment section, make I know. He get any one of them when he be from Igbo, Igbo speaking tribe. He get anyone when he be from Igbo, when not be from Lagos state, make I know. You see the way your mentality they colo. Now, when you say Lagos not be Anabra, Lagos not be Igbo, Lagos not be this, Lagos not be Enugu, you yourself, when you sit down for that, your Yoruba land, where you they call Lagos, why you never travel come out? How full, full grown up person, when you come out from Nigeria, you know the Nigeria, they outside Nigeria, they shout say Lagos is no mass land, made that they go. Are you there no mass land for somewhere? You when you did no mass land, where they supposed to make it go. Now you call the tech people when you did their land, made they come out, made they call they go. See, waiting on are supposed to they talk, they say, Lagos, not before lazy youths. Now so not supposed to they put them. More they confuse on herself. Oh, not supposed to they say Lagos, not before lazy youths. Because it could be like say some people where they that Lagos say they lazy die. See, make I tell you something, you can never eat your cake and have it. Igbo people where they Lagos, they be hard-working people. Even for the world, person when they lazy, you know they feel they achieve them. You when you they sleep 12 hours in a day, we took they sleep for 5 hours. Now, the same thing, I'll be the same thing. You know, expect they sleep 5 hours, make it not make them. You when they sleep 12 hours. When laziness for your body, you won't, you don't want let go your opportunity. You don't want let go your time. You so much love your bed. You love your family. You love everything. Hey, I want to stay with my children. Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. But Igbo man, they Lagos, they pay sacrifice. All over the world, shake out for people where they pay sacrifice for where they for the hustle. See, they're not the lack. You when you don't want pay sacrifice, you be lazy person. Not the talk where people they talk. You supposed to the talk say Lagos not be for lazy people. Lagos not for hustle. Like, make you hustle whether you not get money the way they take get money. When it's just they play so na jealousy. But that aside, the main important thing when I bring come me to na be say on a governor, on a super governor elect, on a favorite governor. <laughs> he know very well say he not go feel do without the Igbos. What did they do now? He do they call all the Igbos all over the world. May they come, may they come, they invest for Lagos. He don't they call all the Igbos. May they come, may they come, they work together. He don't tell on us, say nobody go fit separate them. He say no tribalism, no separation go work for Lagos. Say Lagos, all na be lovely people. Say all of them are now one. He says so make anybody not deceive you. Say they want separate or they want send more people away or what he want it. So now. Who the fool who? You know, you say now you lose. You when you they fight your brother when you not they work for the same place. You they fight your sister. You this when you don't enter, they will continue the fight. Now you don't enter, then they tell you say let peace reign. He's not calling on the Igbo to invest. 
I don't want to talk too much. Make I just play some more of it. This thing for you. May you understand. Say now nah, you be the mumu that don't use you. Take them waiting the ones. It's not left for you to carry your cross. I mean, you listen to that. To any form of divisiveness. Okay. I'm thankful that at the end of it, Lagos will continue to remain first. And it is you, Lagosians, that have been won this electoral battle. For some who are not unaware that there are few skirmishes in some parts of the city. And I'm sure the security objectives are alive to their responsibility to ensure that Lagos continue to remain peaceful, continue to remain resourceful, mm -hmm. and continue to remain home to all law-abiding citizens of, of this country. <laughs> Very man, law agencies, law enforcement agencies have been instructed to ensure that we keep this safe, we keep this city safe for all of us. Okay. And as I said in my final pre-election address, mm -hmm. we have a lot of work to do. Moving forward, left behind any form of divisive rhetoric oh. that would set in on shape what we believe in. Okay. It's time for all of us to roll up our seats once again and push on to the development agenda of labels. Okay. And very importantly, hmm. it cannot be overemphasized that what unites us as labels is far more important and substantial than whatever people that want to divide us. Okay. We will not be divided. Oh. We are Nagosians. Oh. This is our city, this is our state. Mm -hmm. And we will build it bigger, better, and stronger. The true Lagos spirit is an embracing one. Okay. And that's what we have put on the table. Election is over. Election is and over. will continue. The dividends of democracy must continue to be delivered to all of our teaming citizens. To all people will keep I promise to you, and that is a commitment that I'm given to you on behalf of myself and my deputy, Dr. Hamza. I will close by saying some of the things that I said when almost four years ago you also gave me this mandate that what you have done, Agosians, is not a vote for Baba Jesus. You voted for a greater Lagos. You voted. What did tell you now? You say election is over. He said, election is over. So now, let's continue from where we stop. He says, since election is over, they don't want division. Since election is over, anybody that want to start, that want to cause katakata, only goes fire. Oh, yeah. Who lose? Now you lose. Because of this election, you lose friends. Important friends. Friends that are worthy to stand by you. You lose them because of greed. Because of immaturity, because of selfish gain. Now, your governor, Dr. Lona, say, you are on your own. Next time, you go get sense. I so much appreciate all the Igbo brothers. I so much thank them for their steadfastness. In fact, this is an eye opener. Don't let anybody cajol you, change your mindset. See, you see this mindset where you get now the original. It's not left for you to decide on what to do. These people, they don't need you. Don't let them deceive you. I will tell you the truth. These people, they don't need you. Now you need to use your tongue now till they count your teeth on the next development. So, my realistic people, something again happened that the biggest markets in West Africa, that is the Onisha markets. Oh my dog cash fire last night and it is so sad. We don't know why there is no enough security, why people just take the market like somewhere you just go to close, open, close, open. There should be security agent that is in charge of all these things because a lot of people even jealous of that market. Okay. People when they they Lagos, they try to travel, they go other other states. Maybe that they go, they see what they did. Because they did one particular place, they don't know, say, market. People did when they spread, enter everywhere. But because of the privilege they get for Lagos State, now they be waiting, they cover their eye. The Lagos State, not be with this, not be a cry, they fry for everywhere. And then, like, realistic people, let me end this. So, thank you so much for your love, thank you for your support. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be giving you back to back updates about this election. And the, um, 
the decision of our people. Meanwhile, they are also planning to take the market from Alagbo, the spare pass market, back to Southeast. But I don't know how true it is, but I will keep you people updated. Thank you once again for tuning in. Thank you for your love, thank you for support. I still remain your one and only progress news, giving you back to back. Subscribe and bye-bye.